Masvidal and Neil Magny. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Fighter Showcase, UFC on Fox 23, Jorge Masvidal will be facing Donald Cowboy Cerrone, and we're going to showcase Mr. Masvidal here, we're facing Neil Magny in the welterweight division, let's try to, uh, let's try to get this thing going now, Jorge Masvidal is a good striker, it's particularly he's a good boxer, okay? Neil Magny is already starting to go for head kicks right away. That's very good for the tall fighter that Neil Magny is. But Jorge Masvidal, he's known for pretty good boxing and good Muay Thai also. Okay, he's throwing that head kick repeatedly. You see that with a lot of Neil Magny players, but that's okay. It's something that you can deal with. If you can guess when the head kicks are going to come. Yep. And after a while, you can start taking advantage of that head kick. That he ends most of his combos with that. Huge spinning back kick to the midsection. All right. Good connection with the straight by Masvidal. Very nice. Okay. So he's gonna go for that head kick repeatedly. And we, and we can take advantage of the fact that he's gonna keep going for it. Again, he wants to click. Okay. Not gonna work, man. Like, what are you doing? Masvidal with a good jab. All right. There's a kick to the body. What's up, baby? He's able to block the punch. Body kick. <laughs> that uppercut just missed. We're gonna try to catch him. Let's see. I'm right here, baby. Joe, nice kick to the midsection. Go for body kick. Leg kick. He blocks the punch. Both men landing in that exchange. Oh, don't lag, please. Don't lag. Don't lag. So we're just going to box with him a little bit. He's going to go for that leg kick repeatedly. Yep, and every time he misses, we can come back. Okay, parrying. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. A kick. Nice counter by Masvidal. He won't be able to parry my my shot after he misses that head kick. He just won't be able to. Good straight punch. Damn it, man. The parries. Really screwing with me here. Make me with an inside leg kick. Oh, he's down. Oh, good job using the Let's get back up. And back up. <laughs> Come on, baby. Magny gets caught by a straight right. Joe, that cut keeps getting worse, and it looks nasty. He's keeping busy here, connecting Come with on. a lot of punches. There's a good jab. Really parrying those shots now. Trying to get a single. Goes for a takedown. Won't work. Beautiful. They can be difficult to deal with. They really can. Neil Magni players can be hard to deal with because of his height. But you can you can kind of pick up on patterns right away, <laughs> figure out what they're doing, and just go from there. So I'm i I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the boxing going. It's pretty fun. I'm loving it. Um I might not need to throw a lot of kicks. But let's see if the fighters can even turn it up from here. That was a solid round of feeling out process. Head kick, okay? I think we're gonna get after it. Body kick. Another nice kick. Very nice yep, he won't be able to deal with that the counter that's gonna come if he misses a head kick. It's gonna be three strikes that's gonna land cleanly. Good block by right there. He's trying to parry it. He won't be able to parry it. Hard straight punch. Strong jab. All right. thing that makes him hard to deal with is that he's actually moving forward he's actually moving well and he's pairing his head too so a lot of the combos I'm gonna have to have to throw 
are going to have to try to bypass that. Missed that shot. Good roundhouse. Joe, that was well done. Black that kick, I wasn't close enough to counter that. Very nice late kick by Meg. Straight right. And a guinea connects with the kick. Okay, I need to start kicking him. Huge block. That was a big kick to the body. Or he's going to run away with this fight. We've reached the midway point of this fight. Nice, oh, nice. late kick. Parry in his head. He was late to the party right there. Ooh, I didn't sway that on time. Uh-huh. Yep. Will not be able to parry the, the return if he misses that head kick. Head kick. Mm. Again. He's tough. Just that quick slip, and he'll come right back at you. Nice shot. Oh, that's a nasty cut, and he's looking to make it worse. Body kick. Quick jab. Oh, nice body kick. This guy is not easy to deal with, man. Okay, round number three. I'm gonna have to really. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have to really push to get him out of there. He's hurt. Right there. Yep. Third round. Third round. He will not keep me away from him. I'm gonna be in his face the whole time. Third round, and I'm gonna try to get him out of there. That's what we're gonna do. The boxing should do it. The boxing should be able to do it. If I if I can stay really in top, he's been doing a really good job. I kind of underestimated him a little bit. I really did, but his movement is good. The movement that I'm seeing is pretty good. It, he's not easy to find. So we're gonna try to stay in tight. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round. Try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Good block, straight count. Looks for that front kick, he missed it. Oh, there he connected. Yep, like that. Timing your strikes nicely. Okay. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Nice punches. He just missed with the straight right. Mm. Those numbers tell the story. Significant strikes landed so far. Jorge Masvidal is continuing to punish that eye. Yes, Bam. Is. That's a good target for him. He sees the swelling and it's going to impede his opponent's vision. Good straight right by Masvidal. Just like that. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Really missed with that. <laughs> Moving. Good defense, and he counters with a straight. Nice roundhouse kick. They are exchanging here mighty shots. The amount of damage that has been done to his body makes you wonder if he's got a broken rib or two. Come on. Good striking. Under three minutes on the clock here in the third and final round. Come on, we're moving. And there's a nice straight by Masvidal. And another one lands the head. They clinch up here. Elbow and oh no. Shit. What a great job blocking that. Here we go. Goes for a single. <laughs> First takedown of the fight. He's really trying to do everything in his power. Good punch by Meg. And he postures up. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He's got the full mount, Joe. He hip escapes to the full mount. From the top in full guard. Buzz All right. Now, now we're grappling. Postured up and threw it down with force. He's going to finish it right here. Oh, some heavy shots from the top. 
Back to full guard. Wow. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement. Oh, ah, dang it. Oh, there he goes. Full mount. There we go. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. That oh, was a man, nasty that elbow. Is rough. Oh, big shot from the top. Reverse him again. Ooh. What do we got? Alright. I have no idea who won this fight. No clue. Yep, I beat him. I got him. Let me see. Let me see how I actually won. Unanimous decision. He was good. He was um he was elusive. I I really I liked the way he was playing. He wasn't easy to find and when when I started really pushing forward and I was staying really in tight in his face, he you know, he played smart. He went to the you know to the clinch right away got the fight to the ground and you know he was he was trying to secure that that w i like the way he fought i have absolutely no issue with it i mean look at that he he really landed way more significant strikes he did a good job he did a good job um i wouldn't even have been upset if he ended up winning the fight i landed more strikes overall and I did more damage on the ground because I held him down, but I, I, I really wouldn't have cared really if I lost the fight because he, it, that was a good performance by him. It was. I underestimated him a little bit when the fight was starting. I did, my mistake. But um, good stuff, good stuff. All right, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoy that one, Jorge Masvidal. Um, it's gonna be a great fight. It's gonna be a really good fight between him and uh, Donald Cerrone. I have no idea who's gonna win that fight. I'm leaning more towards Cowboy, but then again, Donald has always had issues with good boxers, like fighters who know how to put combinations together with their fists, and fighters who have good head movement. Donald Cerrone has always had issues with those guys because, like you, you know, you can think back to Nate Diaz, think back to a guy like uh, Rafael dos Anjos, and uh, even Eddie Alvarez was able to catch Cowboy a few times. He's just he's not that good when he, when it comes to fighting good boxers like boxers that have very good boxing you know boxing skills and that's one thing that um masvidal does very well so i don't know i have no idea he might be able to get cowboy he really might be able to get him we'll just have to wait and see so that's it let me know in the comment section what your predictions are for that fight i'm very interested in reading what you guys have to say and uh i will see you very shortly thanks for watching guys be safe